Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing a DIY um, for my inserts for my personal planner. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So the reason I started this planner over again is because, and this is the Agenda 52, no, actually, it's the Carpe Diem. Why did I think it's a 10 to 52? So the reason I started this planner was because I wanted a daily planner to put in my purse. And I do have that with the Moleskine Daily Diary. But I wanted something that I can structure myself again in a different way. So I'm going to go do a flip through a quick one after I show you the DIY. But I just want to show you what I did first. And I haven't even set it up. I just took some Recollections uh, dividers. And here is the Happy Planner. Um, get Social. Oh my God, what did I do with the paperwork? It is the Get Social. And I know I have it on the tip of my tongue. And I was saving it to show you. Um, cheeks. I don't know what I did with it. To be honest with you, I have no clue where I put it. But anyway, it's, you know, from, I think, the Glam Girl. I want to say it's the Glam Girl one. And I just had it, like, not even a few minutes ago. So anyway, yeah, so it is a mini insert for the Happy Planner that I cut down. And I'm not losing anything, really, but just these little holes. And that's not much. And then in the back, I have plenty of space. So I did that to this one. And then my next divider is another daily sheet, which is yay for today. So this one here, I do have the paper for. Sweet Quiet Designs. And it is the Lisp Pad. Now, they do not come hole punched. They come, and I'll show you, it comes in a pad. And all I did was trim it. Not trim it, I'm sorry. This is the size of it. All I did was hole punch it. That's it. And take it off the pad. The back is blank. So again, you can do the back the same way you can do the back here. This is the Glam Girl. There you go. And then you can do the same thing here in a different format. Like you can do whatever you want to do here. But you have a checklist. You have notes. You have priorities. You have your hydration. Your one, two, threes. And your happy thoughts. And then the rest is the Agenda 52, Daily Tasks, um, Kiki K Paper, and it's not even the same size, but I'm loving it. Do Not Worry, Be Happy, List Pad that I cut down. Um, this one I showed you in the last video. I had extra, so I put it here. Um, this one is just a pocket folder from Agenda 52. Again, Recollections, Agenda 52. So you're going to see a lot of Agenda 52, Recollections, and Mambi. And back here is from the Dollar Tree. And it's just a little spiral notebook. There's the spirals on top. And that one is from, again, Dollar Tree. The, hate, the Faith, Hope, and Love Spiral Notepad by Crown Jewels. Oh, there's no UPC. But yeah, and then it works perfectly because why? It's just like this. There's a UPC. I know there was one. It has just the sent up and then when I'm ready to use it I just leave it in here and it fits perfect there's no cutting down usually I have to cut my list pads down and stuff so let's do the DIYs so what you're gonna need for that is a some kind of cutting a pair of scissors anything a hole puncher now I do have the agenda 52 hole punch I'm gonna show you I do have this one, which you could adjust to any, you know, one that you need it to be. This drives me insane because I cannot figure this out. So I'm going to throw that away. Here is where I store my Happy Planner sheets, which I just picked up today. These, so I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I'll cut these down. I probably will, and I'll explain how I do it. But I do want to cut probably these down. I have all different kinds. So like when I'm doing my faith, I have the faith one, mommy one, and 
scripture writing because I do want to get into the, this for soap study. I have so much more. So that is going to be fun to do. And then again, this was just a list pad. So the basic two items you need are these two. And a garbage can because, oh, you're going to make a mess. And then this, I just want to add to it. That's from, I want to say Agenda 52 as well. So I'm going to add this to it later. So let's start with a Happy Planner one. And it's not going to be a long video. Uh, let me pull one of these inserts out. So with the Happy Planner, it's a little longer than it should be. So height-wise, it's taller. And width-wise, you're going to cut it down to the width. If that makes sense to you. So I'm, I'm going to turn this sideways because this is going to be hard to do with all my crap here. Let's I rearrange my desk real quick. Let me move some stuff real fast. Because I know I want to show to you the right way so you get the concept of it. There we go. Now I can turn this this way. Look at that dust over there. Why are you such a pig? Okay, so with that. So here is what I do. If you look at the sheet, if you take this black piece off, which is a little bit too short, you're going to be cutting some of it off. But if you take a majority of this black off of here, and I don't know if you can see how much is what you're going to be leaving. So what I'm going to do is just line these two together. This is the line where it cuts, and the white one is where the pink is to score, and the white one is to cut. So let me see if I can zoom you into this. So I'm just lining it up, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and move the top one, so you can see where I cut it. Now you see, you want to make sure it's straight, and then you get a clean cut. Just like that. That's all you do. I don't measure. I just put a piece of paper that is the size for the personal. And as you can see, there you have it. But before we hole punch, do you see the difference in size? If this does not bother you and it's like a little tiny hairline off, don't worry about it. But if it bothers you, just take it there. And again, I like to go in the middle first. And then cut because look at my blade it's terrible I need to get a new one and there you have it that's as easy as that now when you go to hole punch you're using your template you know white on white is so hard to see can you see this or am I in the air I was in the air okay there you go so again white on white is hard to see do you see that where I cut? And then I just bring my fingers down to hold it tighter so that I'm not moving the pages. That one went a little off, but that's okay. And another thing to do with this is if you're not wanting to open your rings, there you have it. And like I said, you're gonna make a mess. So I have a garbage can next to you. So if you don't want to keep opening your rings like I just did, so I'm going to close it real quick. What you do for that issue is you take your scissors and just slice in. Don't make like, don't make a hole here like the Happy Planner has that moon shape. Don't do that. Just slice in. Just enough to open the paper up. Just like that. Just like so. That's all I did. And now all I gotta do is pop it in. That's as simple as that. Same thing with this paper. I still have the black stripe. So it still gives me that look. And that's all I'm gonna do is just slice open. Now, if you're looking for different kind of inserts, just keep in mind the width that you need so this is going to go, where do I want this? Behind here. 
because I need to get another divider. And there you have it. It's the same size, the same height. The only thing that's not the same size and height is this one, the Kiki K. And that's how they're made. There's nothing you can do about it. So let's do, um, since we have that one done, actually, should I add my unicorn? No, I think I'm going to get something that's godly. Okay, so next I want to add, say I want to add one of these to my planner. So I'm going to look at the height and width. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out. See, didn't even have to open the planner. Because I know that bothers people when you pull the planner apart. Now my page is bigger than this. So you want to just line it up. And this is just easy. This is common sense. And just hole punch. But some people don't know how to add inserts. Especially if you're new to the planning world. You want to have your inserts your way. So this is not an insert. This is just deco for my planner. And so I am just going ahead and hole punching it. So the only thing it took was the A. I could have brought it down a little bit and the A would have been fine. But I'm not mad at that. So then I'm going to go ahead and slice. This way I do not have to open my planner unless I need to move a divider or something like that or, you know, whatever. And even with dividers, you can still do this process the same way. There you have it. And it's ready to go inside, which will, this one will be my divider. Um, so now it's ready to go inside here. Just like so. And what do I do? Oh, I got a piece of the one paper didn't hole punch all the way through. Well, it did, but it left a piece. And there you have it. So if I wanted it to be like more down and the A wouldn't have been sacrificed, I would have just brought the paper down a little bit. But yeah, so there you have it. So this could be a divider for your whatever you want to use. Now let's do the soap study one because that's the one I'm going to be using. Oh wait, let me show you this one before I do, do that. Now this page, I'm just taking off the list. I don't need this, and all I need is this. Measure it, and again, it's a little bit longer than it should be. So I'm just going to leave it like that. This one I bring down. I don't think the last one I did, but this one I will. It does cut through the stars. So you're gonna see a lot of stars that's cut and cut through. I know a lot of people use these little papers for confetti. So if you save them, you would have confetti. And then the last one. And now the paper is a little bit wider than it should be and shorter. But that does not bother me. If it bothers you, you would have to cut it in. And then the shorter part, there's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. And then this is just cutting so that you don't have to open your planner. It saves the rings is what it's basically doing. Because with me, I think it would break. And there you have it. And I did more than one. So I have a checklist, I have my priorities, my notes, my hydration. So this planner here is like a daily planner to me. So that is what I'm using it for. I don't collect these things, so I just throw them away. You'll find them on my floor though, every time I craft. Um, so I don't use those. But we're going to go back into cutting real quick. So I use daily sheets. Well, I'm going to start using daily sheets because I need to. I need to. But I do want to add some stopes. Stope. I cannot talk to you. I'm so annoyed right now with my daughter. Um, I'm going to add some soap study uh, inserts as long as the time is permitted. Uh, let's see. Where did I find it at? I know it's in here. And this is exactly where I store them. I don't even have a cover on it or nothing. I just like 
having things on hand over here. I was looking right at it. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be putting in my planner as well. In my other personal planner. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Grab that one sheet that I've been using as my template. I'm going to see how much needs to be pulled off. So this line right here is indicating that that's what I need to take off. Now here, all these little dots. So here, I'm going to go here and at the edge almost, a little bit more than the edge. It's actually the, the last of the color. So that's perfect. Now I know exactly where to cut. So if you do the soap study, it is the edge of the colors. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to blow this up just a tad bit. So you can see. And again, you want to keep in mind one of your blade because your blade is probably not the best but if you see where I cut just the line just that and now again are you worried about this if you are then that is the time to cut it so I already know that this line here is where it's going to be cut so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I go in the middle with this one only because how thin it is. And my blade is not the best. And there you have it. See, I told you my blade's not the best. It gives like a, a frigid look. Or a rigid look. Now, the wording, I cannot promise, will be not cut off. So we're going to do this. So the only thing it looks like it's going to cut is the OBS in scripture. But if that bothers you, don't do it. <laughs> Just leave it in the happy planner. But me, it's not going to bother me. Because I know what it is. I could always stick a sticker over it. And I just missed a hole punch. I like doing more than one, to be honest with you. So that way I don't have to keep playing with them. And I know they're all in the same hole punch. Sometimes you can mess up. And there you have it. Now I'll show you the final result. So the scripture part of the S came out. The observation application is fine and prayer is fine. Let me bring it in so you can see it. And on the back, it's just notes. How perfect is that? Should we try so much to do? Maybe. Let's see. I know it's going to take one of the holes out, and that's fine. But if you want to make a happy planner insert, into and you could do this with the planner as well i've done this plenty of times i've done this with a recollections as well but if you're trying to turn your happy planner inserts into a ring bound system this is the way to go this is definitely your way to go i am for the ring bound i love the happy planner inserts like i like these inserts I like the note pages. Obviously, you see, I have tons. I bought tons more. I just picked this pack up today. And every time I catch it on sale or anything, I want to use it. So in order to do that, you need to, you know, cut your inserts down or something. So since I already cut these, I'm going to put these in the front. I already sliced these. I did not slice these yet. But as you can see, 
there you have it now this is chunky already like look at that look how cute that is so let's do a little flip to show you so again i have the make great things happen just making sure of the time um these will not go in here but if i were to put them in here it would just be exactly the same thing popping them in and here you could work with it and you could take it off without having to open this. So again, make, make great things happen, recollections. And I love buying the recollections planners. Um, today, this is the glam girl. So get social, notes and ideas. Now remember, you don't have to use the get social. You don't have, to, well, I like the notes and ideas because you have three. But to get social, you can put a sticker here to cover that and just put whatever you want here. Remember, this is your daily sheet. So whatever you do in the AM and whatever you do in the PM. So that's all of these. I have them all already cut. I don't have all of them sliced, but that's okay. I will eventually go and slice them. Again, another recollections. You get three of them in the planner with no pages, line paper, dot grid, and grid, something like that. And then yay for today, again, this is from Sweet Quiet Design, $5, use a coupon, pay $2.50 or whatever the price is, and you get how many sheets? It's one piece, I don't think it says how many sheets you get. Oh yeah, it does, 70. So you get 70 daily sheets for the price, for an insert, that's not bad at all. You have your priorities, yay for today, notes, hydration, checklist, and what happy thoughts. Again, if you don't want to use this version, because maybe you don't have everything on a timely basis, but you have this version where you can track your daily version, you can put breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you wanted to. Do your checklist, write a little note, some priorities. In the back, you can fill up this whole page of whatever you want. And this is why I did this, because I needed daily sheets that I can just go on the go and be like, okay, well, I'm sitting here for this long. What do I need to do between this time? What do I need to do between that time? And then here I can go in and use both of them, to be honest with you, and be like, okay, so now I'm going to break it down even further to what I have. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or what's my... First top three priorities if I don't want to use that top three. So you get what I'm saying? It's like you have ways to make these your own. Adding stuff to the back. This is dot grid. Yeah, it says glam girl, but that's dot grid. And then here is just blank. And then there is the thing we just did from our daily bread. And then I have plain paper. To, I mean, line paper to do whatever I want to do. Then another divider. Believe in the very best. And again, you get three. So these are the three you get. You get make great things happen. The lines. And then believe the very best. You have daily tasks. And I got that from Agenda 52. Hobby Lobby. Which I was so upset today. I went to Hobby Lobby to get some inserts. Because I love their inserts as well. But they were closed. They closed for the, the corona. I'm like, what? And then I believe in the very best. Again, I have a lot of these because I have a lot of planners. Kiki K inserts, which is just lined paper. Great for notes. A list pad. You can turn a list pad into a personal size insert. Make it your own. I don't know about the happy planner. I think that's why I'm doing this. Because those little three boxes are not doing it for me. Like, it's not. I don't have a lot to do, but I like to break down my day. In my phone, I have everything that I do in a day. And then in my Moskeen, that's kind of getting heavy, I like that as well. But I kind of like rings. I don't know. Again, I have this in my Faith Planner, but I have more here. A pocket just to stick uh, stickers and stuff in. I turned this divider down. This one just says think big. Only because I want, you know, a tab down here. And it's just work hard, slay hard. And then here is the recollections. Again, another one from recollections. 
this comes okay so yeah you get the to do graph and line and this is the to do one and you could do whatever you want with this Dollar Tree I utilize this so that whenever I need to write notes or scripture or whatever it's in here you have a pocket in here I don't have anything yet in there but this just makes me happy so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share the video comment be greatly appreciated as always thank you for watching and if you do this let me know but honestly somebody left a comment is this the agenda 52 or the carpe diem i don't think carpe diem and agenda 52 are affiliated even though this looks exactly like an agenda 52. here is an agenda 52 right here they pretty much resemble each other but you can tell the difference in you know the way it's structured i believe this is the a5 this is a personal I do have Agenda 52, if I can find the Agenda 52, because I have so many planners right now in front of me, if I can find it, I'll do a video showing both comparisons with the Recollections. The Recollections are nowhere near Agenda 52 or Carpe. Carpe and Agenda, to me, are more better than, actually, I think I might, I think I do have it in front of me. No, actually, I moved it. Where in the world did I put it? It was the three girls. Anyway, so once I find it, I will let you guys see it, and I'll show you the comparisons on all of my planners. Kiki K, Agenda, 52, Personal, and A5. Recollections, Personal, A5, and Carpe Diem, and the Webster's pages, because I do have Webster's as well. So again, thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.